Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are described often by various royal commentators as brats for their destructive, chaotic behaviors and the childish tantrums they throw on the regular. When I hear or read about them as brats, I flash on an incident that happened in my early childhood when I was being a terrible brat and I thought I'd pass the incident along because in it is a kernel of good advice for King Charles as he deals with the two brats in California. Not that I think King Charles will ever actually watch this video, but you know, you put an idea out into the universe and a butterfly flaps its wings and unexpected, sometimes miraculous things happen. So the incident. My mother and I were shopping in a local department store. I was possibly as young as three, but old enough to remember the incident with crystal clarity. We were in the little girl's clothing department and I had fixed on a dress I wanted. It was striped in black and white and had pink rose appliques all over the collar and cuffs. Oh, how I wanted that dress. But my mother had decided that she didn't like the dress and wasn't going to buy it for me. My desire to have that dress was uncontainable, however, and I threw myself on the floor of the department store and started wailing and crying and kicking my feet and refusing to leave the girls' department unless she bought it for me. My mother waited, standing above me, patiently, until there was a break in my wails. At that point, she said coolly, almost as if she'd rehearsed it, had read advice on parenting and decided this was the perfect time to deploy a particular piece of it. She said, If you get your clothes dirty, I'm going to give you something to really cry about. Then she turned and walked away. She left no door open. If I was going to make my bed on that dirty department store floor, I was going to have to figure out how to handle the consequences I was creating for myself. Suddenly, quickly, the great desire to have that dress faded away, and I was immediately gripped by terror. The department store was huge, and if my mother walked away, I might be lost, and how would I find her? And I scrambled to my feet, still sobbing, but unwilling to let a dress come between me and becoming horribly lost, and and missing out on tea and sweets in the store's tea room with which we always ended shopping expeditions at that store. It has been admirable how the royal family has in essence turned and walked away from their two brats, not lowering themselves to respond to the Californians' provocations. But they have left a lot of doors open for the errant couple. Take away their titles. Provide an avenue for Harry and Meghan to take to truly remove themselves from an institution they so clearly disdain. The titles, in any case, mean nothing to the Americans they now live among. Let them prove themselves as nothing more than Mr. and Mrs. Harry Mountbatten Windsor, and let them see how far they get with figuring out the consequences they have created for themselves then. If you like what we're doing at The Authentic, consider giving this video a like subscribing to the channel, and ringing the bell so you'll be notified when a new video makes its debut. And think about leaving a comment, too. Thank you for watching.